Hey viewers, birthdays. Okay, here's my interview. What's my favorite video that I've posted? Probably me announcing that I have my own clothing line. It's super sentimental to me and the video is just so fun and you can really see how much hard work and dedication was put into it. I also really like this video I filmed recently. It's called Do All Girls Think the Same? And I kind of want to start a series doing that. Um, I feel like you learned a lot from the video and it was really cool to see different people's perspectives. So I really like that. But if you're looking for a fun video that you can watch a million times, is this video that me and my cousin Jake made a cake blindfolded. It was honestly like so funny to edit. I was laughing and crying at the same time. So if you want to get a laugh, I would definitely recommend going to watch that. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? Um, I definitely do see social media as long-term. It's something I loved and something I always dreamed of doing ever since I was little. So I'm so thankful and grateful for my opportunity to be a creator. But also when I turn 18, I want to get my real estate license. And as I mentioned earlier, I have my own clothing line and I do have my own makeup line as well. So I really want to dive into that as I get older and be a little businesswoman, you know? I think I already said this, but I want to get my real estate license when I turn 18. I just think that's so cool and I've been into it over the past few years. So I feel like that's something great as well. If I could travel anywhere, where would I choose? And I think I would have to choose Greece. Italy sounds amazing too. I just went to Europe recently, but I didn't go to Greece, so that would be amazing. I love all the photo spots and it just looks super awesome. What advice would I give my past self? I would just say that when the world feels like it's ending, it's really not, and there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I know a lot of people say that, but just keep on going and every day it will get better whatever you're going through and you, this will make you stronger whatever you're going through it also makes you who you are and you learn these experiences even if they're horrible things and things you never wish upon anyone that makes you really strong and you have more knowledge for your future and for your future family and the future whoever is in your life um, to kind of tell them and give them advice as well so it, um, how do I word this? I always say everything has to get worse to get better. Whether that's you being sick or whether it's a situation, it's gonna get really bad, but it's always gonna get better afterwards. And also in the moment, it might, also in the moment, it might seem like the world is ending and you don't know what to do and you feel really stuck, but most of the times those situations are the best thing that have ever happened to you and they actually launch you forward in your life, in your career, in your self-confidence. And that's what happened to me this year and I'm so thankful for that. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? I would say do what you love and yes, you can follow the trends, but never try to be like anyone else. I feel like people really see your genuine happiness and motivation and passion you have for something. And if you're doing something just to do it, I feel like they can definitely tell the difference in the content. I know I've gone through that a lot with my different types of content. I've done stuff I've really enjoyed, which is the stuff I'm tapping into more recently, which is like beauty and like cooking and lifestyle. But I remember I was kind of at a stopping, like stuck point in my content where I wanted to switch it, but I didn't know how, so I just, kept doing the same thing, same thing, th same thing, and it got really boring and I was just in a little like drought for content. And then I found what I really love, which is what I'm doing now. And I think people can really see my happiness when I'm filming that content versus some of my older videos. Trust me, they were fun back then, but after a while, I think it's always good to switch things up. When did I first go viral? Um, it was, it, let me rephrase that. When did I first go viral? Um, it was, on TikTok in 2019, I remember I was at a production set day and I just posted a dance video like I would and had like 500,000 views and my TikTok was literally shadow banned for the longest time. So that was like really exciting for me. And then I just kept posting more dance videos and yeah, that kind of got millions and millions. But on YouTube, I would say it was May like 20... I think um, my first video to ever hit a million on YouTube is this video called who can gain the most weight it's a really it's a really funny video but um, yeah that was three years ago which is crazy and I started off on YouTube then I started posting on TikTok and I was always on Instagram everything kind of grew together and I'm super grateful for that 
Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? Um, things get hard, it really does. And as I was saying earlier, you can get in content droughts and you feel uninspired and it feels like you're doing the same thing over and over again. So there have been times that I just need a break, which I've taken, or I just post a little less to make that motivation and excitement for my content come back. But I've never considered like actually quitting and never being on the internet again. I think it's a blessing that I have this in my life and I'm gonna take my opportunity and run with it. What is one of my most embarrassing moments? Um, I, I feel like I'm, uh, I, yeah, I have a lot of embarrassing moments and I do a lot of, a lot of embarrassing things. <laughs> I would say one recently is I was going to Catalina Island with a few of my friends and um, my one friend, as you know um, very well, Aiden Mikas, I was with him and I was with my boyfriend and a few other people and he hands his phone to someone and it's like, hey, can you film this TikTok of me and Simone? And he brings me over to this crowd of people loading onto the boat to take it to this island. And we were also going on that boat and we were walking towards the line and he just screams, everyone, this is Simone Harrison. Everyone looked at me like a deer in headlights and I get very embarrassed really quickly. <laughs> So I literally like ran and like hid in the bathroom. Um, I literally don't know how I stepped foot on that boat after that, but that's just a recent embarrassing moment and I would never wish that upon someone. That was horrible. Aiden, if you're watching this, I'm gonna get you back. If I can meet three people dead or alive, who would I want to meet? Okay, this is kind of a sad question because one of the people that I am listening passed away and that was a very important person to me growing up. But my favorite artist is Billie Eilish, so I would love to meet her. I've been to three or four of her concerts and I have so much merch. I love her so much. She's so inspiring and I just have been following her ever since I was little, um, right when she started out. So it's been crazy. I actually did meet her um, before I knew who she was. I just saw this girl with cool hair in public and I complimented her and later come to find out that was Billie Eilish and I wish I knew who she was at the time. But yeah, I love her so much. So definitely she would be my number one. Number two would be Kim and Boyce. Um, that was the person I said that is passed away. Um, I watched him growing up, he's kind of my childhood and it's, it was really sad and it kind of put life in perspective when I found out the news. It was years and years ago, but I just remember waking up and seeing it and I was really upset because he was so amazing and so truly inspiring and it's sad to see people's time be so short on this earth when they're doing amazing things. But I know he's watching down on everyone and he's so proud of all the people he's inspiring. Um, another person I would love to meet is Harry Styles. Um, I love One Direction, I've been to Harry Styles concerts. I just think he's so cool and I love his music. I think um, he's inspired a lot of people as well and he's just like an icon. Like, that would be amazing to meet him. If I had to eat one meal for the rest of my life, what would I choose? I wanna give you guys three seconds if you follow me and you can probably guess. Raising Cane's or avocado toast? I feel like those are the only two things I eat nowadays. Um, I just got back from Germany recently and since I got on back, I've made myself avocado toast every morning and I've been to Cane's every other day. So I can live off those two things. <laughs> what would be one superpower I would choose to have? This one's pretty easy. I would say mind reading because I'm a really big overthinker and <laughs> that would just, you know, help me a lot. I stay up very late overthinking. I start spiraling sometimes. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny to laugh about, but at the same time, I I need to um, fix that because yeah, it it's not the best, but I'm getting better at it. And I feel like everyone has something that they need to work on. So I'm gonna start doing that. Thank you Famous Birthdays for this interview. I'm Simone Harrison and make sure to follow me on all my socials and I'll see you next time. Love ya, bye.